Cheryl, I have waited so long. This is the first afternoon that I've had off in weeks. Come on, don't let a little thing like this come between us. Gonzo, even liberated women do not have romantic interludes in empty parking spaces. That's not what I'm asking. They're going to have the Titanic back in no time. Tell her. Sometimes we find them right around the corner. Sometimes we find them piece by piece across the border. <laughs> oh, come on, Cheryl. He's only joking. Some other time, Gonzo. Thanks a heap, buddy. What time did you see it last? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, well, that's right. It was about 10 a.m. because the florist... I had flowers. It's tough. I know. Were the keys in it? Of course not. Look, this is a lot more than just a stolen vehicle. I hawked my soul for this evening. I had fillets, caviar, champagne. What year? Uh, 64, Don Perignon. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. What oh, year was the van? Uh, 68. You think some kid just took it for a joyride? Park. I hope so, Dr. Uh, Gates? Yeah, yeah, guns on. Thanks. Uh, Joey, come on. The demonstration over on Powell Street's turning into a riot. Let's go. Look, I got it all. We'll be inside. Did I remember to tell you about the cracked windshield? Did I mention the Cherry's Jubilee? Is anybody listening? It. 400 bucks for a hotel suite, and that's the cheap one. You try the why? Yeah, it's book solid. The whole town's book solid. Conventions, a big football game. Oh, well. I guess it's a park bench for me tonight. Or I suppose I could curl up in some linen closet all right, somewhere. All right, hold the violins. Come home with me. You can use my couch. Oh, you're a lifesaver, Trapper. I won't be any trouble. I'm sure they'll find the Titanic right off. They better. Did I tell you about Cheryl? Oh, she's an 11. One condition. Quiet. I just finished a double shift. Even my beard aches. Quiet as the grave. Tell me I'm hallucinating. Hello? Yeah, right. We'll be right there. Emergency. Riot victims coming in. Let's go. Ah, eine Kopfhunde bitte in Zimmer 2 da entlang. Sie humpelt auch noch. Das ist ein Fall für den Rollstuhl. So, setzen Sie sich vorsichtig in den Stuhl rein. Warten Sie, ich nehme Ihnen das Schild ab. Fahren Sie ihn darüber in Zimmer 6. Sträuben Sie sich nicht. Wir wollen Ihnen helfen. Beruhigen Sie sich doch zu. Bringen Sie sie in Zimmer 7. Und nehmen Sie bitte das Schild weg. Ah, haben noch eine Kopfverletzung. Führen Sie ihn netterweise in Zimmer 4. Yeah, can I take that from you? Thank you. Uh, why don't you take him down to room 9, Jackson, way, please, huh? Very good. Yes, I couldn't agree more. Would you go to room 10, please? Thank you, nurse. Oh, I hope my arm isn't broken. I have to go to the Emperor's Ball next week, and I'm going strapless. I'm supposed to be taking the kids shooting the rapids this weekend. Oh, how many have you got? Three. Well, you should just lay back and let them do the paddling. Yeah, guess I could. It's a good idea. Uh-oh, uh, who's first? Age before beauty. Uh, ladies first. Thank you. Uh, I love your hair. Oh, do you? I, I just tried somebody new. Mmm, really highlights your eyes. Well, now that you've made me feel better, let's see what I can do for you. How's it going, Stan? Uh, possible concussion, room three. Right. Everything's uh, under control, gentlemen. A few minor contusions, fractures, possible concussion, but nothing out of the ordinary. Except for the guy in the dress. Good evening, gentlemen. How are you? Give me some help here! Who's in charge here? Doc, this is my partner. He's been shot there. Do something for him. Well, for crying out loud, he's been shot. He needs some blood. What's everybody standing around for? Do something. Don't just stand around Ernie, looking at him. I'll take good care of your friend. Ernie, come here. We're going to need uh, small films on this man. Uh, set up a CAT scan. Uh, page Dr. Baker and then notify the patient's relatives. What about an OR? Make sure one's available just in case we need it. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Come on, come on. Take it easy with him. Take it easy with him. Let me give you a hand with that. Doc, I like want to help him. Maybe I should go along or come something. On, take it easy. Take it easy. Come with me. Come on. Never mind me. Take care of Joey. You're taking care of him. Why don't you just relax? Tell me what happened. Some fag shot my partner. How do you know that? They want power. There's already too much fag power in San Francisco. Look, I don't like the word fag any more than I like the word pig. Okay? Oh, I forgot. Gay. 
Well, there's nothing gay about this. And you know what I don't like, Doc? I don't like lectures. So stick to your doctrine, huh? Okay, I will. And why don't you get your flat feet back out on your beat, do your job, and find the Titanic, all right? Well, he went through a pretty rough one. How rough? We had to debris the entry wound, evacuate some clots, close the dura with a graft. Now, one of the bullet fragments is near Broca's area in the right motor strip. Any paralysis? Hmm, won't know until he starts to wake up. Well, you better prepare a statement, Trapper. Some of those reporters are getting pretty restless. Naturally, they'd love to make an issue out of this. Believe me, you'll be happier in another room. That patient ought to be ashamed of himself talking to you like that. I don't mind. I'm used to it. Well, I mind. I resent his attitude. I know it's supposed to be indicative of his insecurity and self-hatred. That's the root of all bigotry. But I tell you, I'm tempted to tie a knot in his catheter. <laughs> Don't sweat it, love. That room had a terrible view anyway. Well, here we are. Private room and no more problems with fools, bigots, and that narrow-minded hemorrhoid patient. What's wrong with her? Oh, it's Mrs. Galgood. She looks so unhappy. Yeah. Post-op depression. No friends, no family. Poor woman's really having a rough time. Hmm. Hey, would you take these? Sure. Yeah. I'm going to go in there and say hello to her. Oh, okay. Cheer up a bit. <clears throat> Hi. I'm Judy. Well, my real name is Irving, but my friends call me Judy. I hope you don't mind me barging in like this, but I don't have a TV set in my room. And there's a great movie on tonight. You know, the Wizard of Oz. Don't you love that picture? I mean, remember how uh, it was all black and white in Kansas? And then when they got to Oz, it was all that spectacular color. And Judy says, Toto, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. What an understatement. A place where there isn't any trouble. Over the rainbow. Would you mind if I watched it on your set? I mean, we could watch it together. Okay, Mrs. Kelgood? Thank you, dear. Oh, God. You know, one more hour without sleep, and I think I'll break the world's record. <laughs> Oh, Trapper. Oh, no. Not now, Arnold. I was just going to take Trapper home and tuck him in bed with some hot milk and cookies. How's the policeman? Ah, it's too soon to tell. You know, if we lose him, the press is going to come down on us awfully hard. You are going to save him, aren't you? You're all hard, Arnold. Well, now that I know how much it means to you, Arnold, I'll uh, do the best I can. Oh, thank you, Trapper. By the way, there's a reporter out there waiting to see you. But don't talk about the shooting, just the operation. Keep it in lay terms and stress the positive. You know, his condition, your prognosis. Oh, and don't forget the fundraising drive for the new wing of the hospital. Sounds simple to me. You keep out of it. Just introduce me as your caddy. Well, I see you're still here. Dr. McIntyre, this is Miss Simmons. Simons, Betty Simons, San Francisco Herald. Dr. Gates, extension 1221. Can you gentlemen give me any information about Officer Santori? Well, he uh, received a bullet wound uh, to the forehead, uh, damage to the left frontal bone about here. Just over the left eye. Right eye, Arnold. Uh, Dr. Baker and I operated to relieve pressure on the brain, and at this time his condition is critical but stable. Do you know if he can identify as a sailor? Oh, we have no information about the shooting at all. Nothing at all. Look, I've been following Joey Santori's career ever since he joined the force. If there's anything that you can tell me... One moment, please. That's a very sensitive issue you're discussing here. Excuse me, sir. Would you mind telling me what newspaper you're with? Jake Mills. I'm chairman of the Gay Rights Coalition. Now, before any further information is disseminated, they could reflect on my client's interests. Uh, who's your client? The assailant? No, I represent Officer Santori. Of course, Jake Mills. You were his attorney when he sued the police academy. Sued the academy? And won. 
I covered that story. Mr. Mills sued for Joey Santori to be admitted as the Academy's first open homosexual. Oh, great. And now we've got him. Does that have anything to do with the shooting? Now, hold on. We're only qualified to discuss the medical issues. I'd just like Miss Simons to ask her readers one question. How is it that Joey Santori, the only openly gay cop on the force, was the only one shot at a gay demonstration? You think about it. Wait a minute, Mr. Mills, a few more questions, please. Controversies, public issues, why does it always have to happen to us? Now, if either of you two get mixed up in this mess... Now, Arnold, why would we get involved in a mess like that? Come on, Trapper, let's go home. Ah, my leg, gefällt dir wohl. Meine Sachen sind alle in der Titanic. Nicht von dir gedacht, aber... Das will ich nicht. Nur Kaffee. Weißt du, das Hemd bist nicht du. Was heißt das, das bin ich nicht? Ach, nichts. Von wegen nichts. Was hast du gemeint? Ist dein Frühstück. Du brauchst dringend ein gutes Frühstück. You call that a good breakfast? Eggs with cholesterol, bacon with nitrite, cinnamon buns with sugar? It's all out of your fridge. I didn't say I deny myself. Now, what I do is rotate my poisons. Today it's caffeine. I hope it works. It's going to be another long day. How come? Well, Slocum volunteered me for a panel discussion down in L.A. to fly down there tonight. Tonight? Yeah, I'll probably get back about one or two in the morning. Oh, oh, no, that's ridiculous, Trapper. Um, you're going to be exhausted. If I were you, I would get a hotel room in L.A. and I'd just order up a steak and some wine and, and, and just relax, you know? And then tomorrow you can catch an early flight back here, come to work cool as a cucumber, ready for anything. It's a lot better than hanging around here listening to me all night. Good idea. You bet it is. Well, the uh, caffeine ain't working. <sighs> I think I'll take a cold shower. <laughs> no more cold showers for me. Cheryl, Gonzo, listen, about tonight, you got the time, I got the place. Yeah, that's... Don't wear that shirt tonight. She won't like it. Hey, you guys. Sam? I stopped by to see how Joey was doing. They wouldn't let me in to see him. Yeah, well, he's, uh, he's not strong enough for visitors. Is he that bad? Guess we'll just have to learn to be patient, huh? Yeah, patience. You know, the way things are, I'm surprised this didn't happen sooner. Morning, doctors. Hi, Betty. You're Joey Santori's partner, aren't you? Yeah, so what? I'm from the Herald. Do you have any thoughts on the shooting? No, nothing. Where were you when it happened? Look, I said I got nothing to say. Do you think one of the gays in the demonstration tried to kill him? It's a dumb question. And so... Could have been a personal thing from the other part of his life. What other part? He was upfront about everything. Well, someone with a grudge, maybe. What are you talking about? A jealous lover or something? Hey, Sam. Exactly. A jealous lover. That's possible, isn't it? Anything's possible, honey. You know, if Joey was straight, nobody would give a damn about his private life. And you, you're some reporter. You don't even have the facts yet, and you're looking oh, for some gay to crucify. Easy. What's your theory, Dr. Gates? That he was shot by a fellow officer? Well, you think that's impossible? There are bigots in uniform, too. Let's go. <sighs> when are you going to learn to keep your mouth shut? What? I can just see the way the story's getting slanted. Scandal sells papers, right? Time of war, name, rank, and serial number. Sagen Sie, wie heißt dieser junge Arzt da? Gates. Durchwahl 1221. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Morgen, Stanley. Good morning, Arnold. Have you seen this? Mm -hmm. Terrible, terrible thing. Some of our patients are complaining because Officer Santori is in this hospital. Why? Because of his homo, homo his, his gay, his, his gayness? Well, you know how narrow-minded some people can be. They're afraid they're going to have to share a room with a homosexual or be treated by a gay doctor or gay nurse. A gay doctor or nurse? <clears throat> Nonsense, <laughs> isn't it? It certainly is. 
Unfortunately, your bigots get sick also. We uh, have to deal with them. Well, that is our medical responsibility. Stanley, mm -hmm. tell me, do uh, you know of any uh, gays on our staff? Absolutely not. Well, how can you be so sure? Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm almost sure. I'm, I'm fairly positive. Well, that's the problem. It's too difficult to tell. It's usually a person you least expect. Arnold, are you thinking of anyone in particular? Oh, no, 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 nothing like that. But uh, I, I think it might be good if I checked around a little bit. Fine, fine, excellent idea. Arnold! On second thought, I don't think that is such a good idea. Investigations like that make people nervous. Which people? Stanley, tell the truth. Now, which ones do you think are gay? None, Arnold. Nobody, nobody at all. You didn't do the breakfast dishes this morning, did you? No, I left them in the sink. Am I going on with the sink full of dirty dishes? Okay, okay. I'll have them done by the time you get home. Joey? Joey, can you hear me? It's Dr. Gates, Joey. Remember? Hey, you're lying here. Who's out looking for my motorhome, huh? License number 550-MYL? Five. Five. That's it. Come on, Joey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the van. Uh, with the sexy chick. Hi. How you feeling? Oh, like I got hit by your van. What happened to me? You were wounded. Someone took a shot at you at the demonstration. Demonstration? I can't move my arm. My leg, I, I can't move it. What is it? Am I, am I paralyzed? Take it easy, Joy. It may just be temporary. I can't be paralyzed. I'm a cop. That's, that's all I wanted to be. Take it easy, Joey. We're doing everything we can to help you. Just try and relax. Sorry, sir. No visitors. Police business. If you heard what the nurse said. Inspector Calvin, Police Internal Affairs. I'd like to ask your patient a few questions. He's not up to any questions. No, I'll be brief. Now, we've had an attempted murder, and I can't afford to have a cold trail. Now, excuse me. Officer Santori? Santori, can you hear me? I'm investigating this for the department, and I want you to tell me exactly what you saw at the demonstration. Take your time. It's very important. Did you see who shot you? The man's amnesiac about the event. You're endangering his life. Please. I'm trying. It's okay. It's, it's blank. That'll be enough for now. What are his chances of recovering his memory? I don't know what his chances for recovery are in any department. Come on, I want to show you something. The uh, bullet fragment right there. You mean you left it in? Yep. We started him on antibiotics to prevent infection. Bullet fragments don't usually cause a problem, but uh, going in after them can damage a lot of healthy brain tissue. Now, in this particular area, that could leave the patient unable to speak or walk. Or breathe. Now, let me ask you a question, Inspector. What if you find out a cop did the shooting? he would be charged and prosecuted. Now, why do you ask? Uh, Dr. Gates is on a steady diet of hot potatoes. Now, this guy, Sam, the one who works with Joey, he's a rabid anti-gay. How come he accepts Joey as his partner? It's his assignment. Now, he's a professional, and the force comes first. You have to respect that in a pro. So he's automatically not a suspect, right? I'm not saying there's no anti-gay feeling on the force. But times are changing. Things are getting better. Because of people like Joey who take a stand. That's right. Except it's cost him quite a lot. His own father disowned him. 
thought uh, his father's still alive? Yeah, Joey won't admit it, but he's around somewhere. Well, I think he should know about his son. Uh, you think you could uh, get in touch with him? Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Let me know if Joey gets any stronger. Right. Dr. Gates? Dr. Gates, this is Jake Mills, Gay Rights Coalition. I've got some information about the Santori case I think you should know about. Why me? It's for the sake of your patient, Doctor. Now, I'd like you to meet me at the corral in about an hour. It's at 1714 Bayside Drive. All right, as soon as I can line up some wheels. Pepper, can I borrow your car? You have taken over my clothes, my home. Keep your hands off my car. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, guys, how you doing, buddy? Ah! Stan, are you all right? Oh, I never felt better, partner. Hey, listen, I'm trying to round up a little poker game over at my place tonight with a couple of the guys. Thought I might even invite old Slocum just to make him feel like one of the gang. What do you say? Can you make it, pal? Well, listen, Stan, it's almost lunch. What do you say we go down to the corral, have a bite to eat, we'll talk it over? Oh, that sounds terrific, partner. Hey, what's the corral? What's well, this little cowboy spot I found down on Bayside Drive. You'll like it. Terrific. And uh, we'll take your car. You got it. Might be misunderstood. May I ask what's going on in here? Oh, welcome. Have a bonbon. Oh, could you pass me those scissors, hon? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to create an atmosphere in which a person would want to get well. No wonder this poor woman is so depressed. And your suit is nice, but it could uh, use a touch of color. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, excuse, excuse me. Glad he left. Such a drag. Na? Wie gefällt es Ihnen? Ich meine Ihr Zimmer. Mrs. Gelgut, wie finden Sie es? Einfach bezaubern, Judy. Danke. <lacht> mein nächstes Verschönerungsprojekt sind Sie. Friendly in this place. Howdy. What a great place, guys. Guys hanging out? No chicks to fight over? Afternoon. We're gonna get you fellas. Uh, how about a brew? Make it a double. Hey, God, you know, I was thinking about that poker game I was talking about. Yeah. Maybe we could make that a weekly thing. What do you think? You know, just the guys. Some pizza, beer, some good cigars. We could do it at my place. You know, just to, just have a couple of good laughs, maybe even pick up a couple of dollars. I don't know, Stan. I'm a lousy poker player. <sighs> so am I. Maybe Trapper could teach us. Boy, they really are friendly around here. They should be. It's a gay bar. Gay bar? Calm down, Stan. No one's gonna make a pass at you. What's the matter? Am I that ugly? We gotta get out of here. No, we can't leave together. If we leave together, somebody might see us and think... If Arnold Slocum ever hears about this... I'm gonna leave alone. You can leave after. Listen, Gans, I think it'd be better if you took a bus back to the hospital, okay? Good thinking, Stan. Play it safe. Yeah, okay. Oh. Well, uh, I'm gonna mosey along now. I gotta go pick up my girlfriend. <laughs> This is the man I wanted you to meet. Philip Todman, say hello to Dr. Gates. Gonzo. I want you to hear what Phil has to say. The police were not interested. Well, you see, I know Joey. Joey Santori. Yeah. I mean, he used to live in my building over in Haight. 
I hadn't seen Joey since he became a cop, and there I am at the demonstration, and I see him. I see Joey, and he's in uniform, and I want to say hello. So I start over. And then, I don't know, all hell breaks loose. There's kicking and screaming, and bottles start flying, and tear gas. Then I see this cop car with this gun sticking out the window. Oh, I hit the ground. But then I see it's aiming at Joey. He's aiming at Joey's head. Then he pulls the trigger at... A cop shot Joey? Can you identify him? And your hospital is swarming with cops. One of them is probably waiting to finish the job. Trapper, I'm telling you, he needs to be guarded every minute. We can't just leave him alone down there. Come on, there are cops all over the place. Well, that's just it. I keep telling you, it might have been a cop who shot him. He could be waiting for another chance. Joey could still be in danger. Yeah, well, I think you're in danger of being used by very clever propagandists. Now, you didn't hear that kid, Trapper. I could swear he was telling the truth. I'd stake my life on it. Yeah, well, you're staking your job on it. Let's face it, you're getting a little involved, aren't you? Why don't you cool it? Come on, I gotta get to the airport. Trapper, you're not listening to well, me. Joey's an ICU. They're nurses 24 hours. I'll see you later. Oh, later? Uh, all oh, right. I'll see you tomorrow. And uh, don't use my smoking jacket, will you? It's a present. Well, don't worry, Trapper. With Cheryl, any jacket I borrow will smoke. I've been trying to remember. It's like it didn't happen. I just can't concentrate. Give yourself a chance, Joey. You're still recovering from surgery. The most important thing for you to do is to use your strength to get well. Gonzo, take a look at my left foot, will you? I think I can move my toe a little. It's moving, right? Just a little? I think I see some tension there, Joey. You keep working on it. Hey, when can I have visitors? I'd like to see some of the guys. Maybe if I talk to them, I, I could remember. Joey, do you get along OK with the other cops? Sure. It must have been tough at first. A lot of those guys had uh, prejudice to overcome. Hey, there weren't that many. Just a few made more noise than others. Well, I'm really curious, though. How bad did it get? Did anyone ever threaten you? Hey, what are you getting at, man? Well, nothing. It's just that it must have been pretty tough for a gay cop. I'm a cop. That's it. Whoa, whoa, Do you hear whoa, a Joey, cop? Joey, Do you hear back. a cop? Back, Joey, calm down. Come on, just relax. Just relax. That's it. Slow down, Joey. I didn't mean anything. Okay. I was just trying to jog your memory. You jogged me, all right. You really got me going. Cheryl, you look beautiful. Well, thank you. <laughs> wow. Well, I must say, I sure do prefer this to the back of your bus. Must cost you a fortune. Oh, well, it's uh, sort of a sublease. Would you like a tour? A little later, Gons. I gotta go no, in. No, sir, no, no visitors in intensive care. Let go of my arm. I gotta go in and see my kid. I'm Joey's father. Maybe he's dying. I gotta go in. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were family. You look like you could use some coffee. Why don't you sit here, and I'll get it for you. Would you call Dr. Gates for me, please? Thank you.
guess it's time for the tour. Uh, right here we have a genuine artifact of a lost weekend. Upstairs is the bedroom. Genuine artifact of uh, lost innocence. Sooner than I expected, call an early flight. You're not staying here tonight. Well, I gotta get some sleep. Well, not here, you're not. Not tonight. Well, it's my home. Shh. Uh huh. Gonzo, you didn't tell me that you had a roommate. Uh, just call me Trapper. And you can call me when you get your own place. Oh, come on, Cheryl, don't go. Cheryl, come on, give a guy a break, will you? You answer it. I'm in L.A. Roommate. Uh, nice jacket. You? Gates here. What? All right, I'll be right there. I'm not yelling. We have to go to the hospital. Sorry, I'm in L.A. I have to go to the hospital. It's okay, I don't mind. the same. I thought it'd be different. I thought it looked different. <laughs> What'd you expect? Makeup? Now don't start up. I come here to see how you're doing. What's this, my 10-year checkup? Well, I'm doing fine. So you can go now. Oh, maybe you want something. Some money, maybe. Nothing. Well, come on, Joey. Give me a break. I'm your father. Your son died ten years ago. That's what you told me. You don't have a son. And I don't have a father. I went crazy. What'd you expect? Why did you have to tell me, Joey? But you loved me. Me! But you were ashamed. You called me disgusting. It was a long time before I could kill you in my mind and go on. How do I know? I drive a truck. I just know what's wrong. It says so in the Bible. Go tell it to a priest. Come on, Joey. Why must you always be so hard-headed? If I wasn't, I'd be dead right now. And maybe if I was dead, you could forget I was a fag. You've got no respect for me. You've got no respect for yourself. Now every one of your dirty secrets are out in every newspaper so people can laugh at me. Get him out of here! Go away! Joey, it's all right. Calm down. Come on. I worked my butt off. Who'd I do it for me? I did it for you. I wanted you to have the world. And you lie down in the gutter. Get out of here! Go away! Oh, throw it in our faces. Did you have to tell your mother that you was a pervert? Huh? Come on, come on, Mr. Santor. That's enough. Come on. Let it took years off my life. Get him out of here! Get out! Get out! Now, leave me go alone. away! Get leave me alone! Here. I want to talk to my son. Here. We have to get go. Him we out have of here. Now. Look, I didn't mean it, Joey. Come on. Why is this I have to be like this? He makes me crazy. You want to kill him. My, 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 father. Er ist weg, Joey. Nicht reden jetzt. Ich, er, so. Beruhigen Sie sich. Komm, komm. Ganz ruhig, ruhig. Ja, gut so. Ja, genau. 
Entspannen Sie sich. So wird es schon besser. Homosexuelle raus aus der Polizei. Bereiten Sie eine Computertomographie vor. Wir müssen ihn vielleicht noch mal operieren. Where do you think you're going? I came to talk to my partner. He's too sick to talk. Well, he'll want to know. We caught the punk that shot him. What punk? What are you talking about? We just arrested some fairy bartender named Philip Todman. He's a witness. He saw a cop do it. You just don't want to give us a break, do you, Doc? They found a gun in his apartment. How do you know it wasn't planted there? Because I'm a cop. Yeah, that may be the problem. Das Hämatom ist ganz deutlich zu erkennen. Ja, durch die Aufregung ist eine intrazerebrale Blutung eingetreten. Selbst wenn er die Operation überleben sollte, wird er vielleicht niemals wieder richtig sprechen oder gehen können. Sein größter Wunsch war immer Polizist zu sein. Seine Chancen stehen schlecht. Für einen anderen auch. Als Attentäter wurde ein junger Mann verhaftet. Der Barkeeper aus dem Corral. Ich halte ihn für unschuldig. Wir müssen das Hämatom entfernen und dann versuchen, den Geschosssplitter rauszuholen, falls wir rankommen. Schwerer Eingriff. Tja, da habt ihr ja was vor. Ich auch. Und das wäre? Das weiß ich noch nicht genau. Stell nichts Verrücktes an. Woher willst du wissen, dass der Barkeeper unschuldig ist? Vom Gefühl her. Und dein Mensch ist so lange unschuldig, bis die Schuld bewiesen ist. Also gehen wir. Gates! Well, John, uh, I've been looking all over for you. I didn't want you to think that I misunderstood. Misunderstood what? Yeah. Uh, well, I didn't want you to think that I was thinking what you think I'm thinking, because I'm not. You know what, Stanley? Thank you. I mean, the corral. You went there by mistake, right? No, I had an appointment to meet someone. Hey, Betty, there's an emergency condition in the Santori case. I'm on my way to a press conference in the comments room right now. I've already notified your buddies. Oh, Gonzo, good news. They found the Titanic. No time now. Thanks anyway. No time for the Titanic? You know, there's something strange about Gonzo these days. It's absolutely untrue. These vicious rumors are completely unfounded. It behooves each and every one of us to scotch them here and now. What's the point? I'm sorry, I don't know why this meeting has been called, but I can assure you that San Francisco... Excuse me. All right, Gates, what's going on? Is this another one of your practical jokes? Can I have your attention, please? Please? I'm happy to report that uh, the emergency operation on Officer Santori is a complete success. Uh, his condition is stable. Uh, he's conscious, speaking, and his memory has returned. He's in recovery right now, and he'll be moved shortly to a private room. When can we see him? Will he be able to testify against Todman? Officer Santori will issue a statement identifying his true assailant sometime tomorrow. He saw Todman? Save your questions for Joey. Tomorrow. Thank you. Well, uh, who did call Why him? didn't you tell me it was good news? When can we release him? Keep your hands where I can see them.
put your gun on the bed, Inspector. Oh, Sam. <laughs> put your gun away, Sam. Put it away. Sie wissen, was Sie sonst sagen. Dass Sie wie er ein Schwuler sind. Das wissen Sie doch auch. Es wird heißen, ihr seid ein Paar. Denn warum würden Sie sonst einen Kollegen ausliefern? Stimmt's nicht? Sind wir inzwischen nicht alle suspekt? Sie lesen Zeitungsfilm. Die Polizei wäre infiltriert, wird behauptet. Sie wollten Homos bei der Polizei genauso wenig wie ich. Did you shoot him? I had to. I had to keep the poison from spreading. From destroying the force. Hey, you're right. I didn't want him on the force any more than you did. And I gave him hell for it. And he stuck it out. He's a good cop, Calvin. And he's my partner. If you can't trust your partner in this business, that's what's going to destroy the force. Come on, you know the routine. Turn around. You were right. I was wrong. Sam's a real pro. Is he all right? I just heard that my boy's okay. Not yet, Mr. Santori. He's still in the operating room, but they got the guy who shot him. Murderer! Killer! Lousy, stinking coward! Who are you to talk? You disowned him. Get him out of here. He's right. I'm as bad as he is. Come on, let me go see that Joey's doing. Mr. Santori, I want you to know, I think your son's a hell of a guy. Let me tell you about the times he saved my butt. me. Can you hear me? Joey. Your arm. You moved it. You're not paralyzed anymore. Hey. Hey, kid. You're gonna be, you're gonna be well, see? You moved everything and you're gonna be okay, Joey. Okay. Don't look at me. I, I guess I deserve it. But I want to. But I want to tell you. I mean, I. I came here to say one thing. And I didn't. I love your son. But how come you got yourself so involved in that case, anyway? There's one thing I'm bigoted about. It's bigots. Cheryl, it has been so long. Well, what happened with Slocum, you know, in his, in his witch hunt? Uh, that's over. He got a $50,000 contribution commending the extraordinary efforts of the hospital staff. From the police association? No, no, from a grateful patron of the corral who missed his favorite bartender. <laughs> May he always be rich. To my hero. Wait a minute, you mean that guy got 50... Cheryl, get rid of the glass. Who's there? Trapper. Hey, 
Hey, hey, how you doing? Listen, uh, could you put me up for the night? The electricity is off at my place and they can't get it fixed until tomorrow. Hi, Trapper. Oh, well, hello again. Come on in. Trapper, you know, I really like your shirt. Really? Yeah, Gonzo's got one just like that, but, uh, uh it's not him. Oh, uh, may I? Oh, thank you. Anybody for a beer? So, uh, you like the shirt, huh? Uh -huh. You ever been to Hawaii? Uh -huh. Incredible place, Oahu. Now, look, you get over on the North Shore, you see, it's got a place called Sunset Beach. The surfers come in there through the thing.